This is Sam Run for Sam's Sports Report, December 11, 2023. The Kansas City Chiefs since suffer another loss. A great offensive start, then a screenplay to Jarek McKinnon, which was intercepted. The Bills would score 14 unanswered, and again, the Chiefs were down 14 to nothing. Finally, with two minutes left in the second quarter, actually under that final touchdown, 14 to 7, as Jarek McKinnon made it in. The second half, the Bills got a field goal to start a touchdown and make it 17 14. Bills, a fumble by Rashid Rice, really hurt the Chiefs to go up and tie it. The Chiefs would get a field goal of back to back punts when the Chiefs and Bills had the opportunity to take the lead. The Chiefs. Had a three and out, a field goal. To give the Bills a lead, then the officiating became the bad part. On the last drive, the pass was complete. And backward lateral to for a touchdown, but the blue, he was over the blue line marker. In inches, and it was shown on the TV. Now, here's some artificial intelligent news that it would probably have been called, so I have no complaints. But if I was a human, I probably would not have made that call. And did he know that he was this much ahead of the line? I don't know. But anyways, that was a bad call, and then a fumble that went out of bounds, and did it hit him, or was it complete, or was it incomplete? They called a complete on the field, and it was called. It was stood as a play, as a catch. Does that play change artificial intelligence? I don't know. But the final was twenty to seventeen. Here's the call with Travis Kelsey involved, and Tony gets called for over the line, and it would have been a Kadarius Tony touchdown on possibly the pay, play of the century. 271, one touchdown, and one key pick for on the opening drive for Patrick Mahomes. Travis Kelsey goes 83.6. Clyde wasn't very good as he had 39 yards. Rasheed Rice has a touchdown and 72 yards. The receivers are bad again and dropped the ball. Nick Bolton hit hard and and his return. After an injury, 20 to 17 was the final. The Chiefs have to beat the Patriots as they might as well quit if they don't beat the Patriots. The Steelers did lose to the Patriots on Thursday night. The Pats host the Chiefs. That game kicks off at 12 was moved from a Monday night game. Broncos and Chargers. The Broncos blow out the Chargers. Justin Herbert got hurt. His finger undergoes surgery tomorrow on the third down conversion. The Chargers were 0 of 12. That was the difference in the game. The Chiefs hold the tiebreaker over the Broncos, but are essentially a game half ahead. The Chiefs are, depends how the Chiefs do in the division, the Chiefs and have the Raiders after that and follow with the L.A. Chargers as well in their last in their last four games and also eight and five would have exceeded the most losses by Patrick Mahomes' team since he has been a chief and since he has been in the NFL. The 49ers Another blitz, selling out, flag on the play, might be a free one. They've got Kelsey at the 30, Kelsey 25, angling back, 20, now he's going to lateral it back at the 15-yard line, it's Tony, 10, 5, touchdown, quarterback. Number 19, offense, lined up in the neutral zone, five-yard penalty. Offsides by the offense, lined up in the neutral zone. One of the most exciting plays, a TD is wiped off the board and a five-yard penalty. beat the Seahawks. It was not very close, as I mentioned, as it was 28-16.
Uh, Geno Smith, who I said was playing yesterday, my fault. It was former Missouri Tiger Drew Locke, who wasn't good enough. 49ers, 28-16. Christian McCaffrey is a key player I mentioned on yesterday's podcast. He had 145 yards on 16 carries. And nine yards of pop. Devo Samuels was a key player. He had 149 through the air and a touchdown. Also, as we mentioned, Brandon Ayuk, he had 129 yards. Also, Brock Purdy had an MVP-like game, and he's had an MVP-like year. 368 and two touchdowns. The Cowboys blew out the Eagles on Sunday night. Cowboys defense was really good. Micah Parson was very good. The Eagles did turn over the ball three times. These were defensive one games by the Eagles. Dak was pretty good. He had two touchdown passes, 271. Not much of stats to mem- mention, except the Eagles turned over the ball three times. The Cowboys had rushed the Eagles 138 to 113. Cowboys had one touchdown running. Eagles had zero. The Jets shocked the Texans. A good game of Zach Wilson had a 301 yards, his best game of the season. C.J. Stroud, rookie year, it was not very good. The, last night, he might be felt for rookie of the year, but was not last night, as we said. He didn't even get 100. I would get a chance to change my vote if he still if he keeps plays like that. Garrett Wilson for the Jets had 100. Jets win 30-6 and a blowout. The Raiders were game us crap as the offense... Vikings kicked a field goal with 57 to go. The Raiders turned it over three times, two via fumbles and one via INT. The Vikings replaced Josh Dobbs, who was taken out of the game. Nick Mullins came in for the Vikings. Final was three to nothing. The Saints blow out the Panthers 28 to six as they keep playing for the Bears' number one draft pick. There was nothing outstanding in the game for the game for the offensive side. Saints defense was good. Bengals keep their good offense. Not so much for the Colts. Joe Burrowing or Jake Burrowing had 275 with two touchdowns. And Gardner Minshew was good, but not good enough for the Colts. And did throw one interception. 34-14 was the final. Not much to mention on the stats. Lions and Bears. Bears led 10-0, but the Lions grabbed back the lead. But the problem is they would the Bears would score 18 unanswered. Fields went into 23-223, and the Lions turn over the ball three times. The Lions also go on for four on four down. 28-13. 28-13 was the final. Falcons beat the Buccaneers as the Buccaneers move into first place in a terrible NFC South, the Buccaneers are 6-7. and seven. The Falcons are 2. The the uh, Saints are 2. Desmond Ritter has 347 and 1 touchdown. Baker gets the win, 144, but did throw 2 touchdowns. Rashid Wright goes for 102 for the Buccaneers. He scored a touchdown. Here's the call at the end for the Buccaneers to win. The Browns and Jaguars is the Browns. Trevor Lawrence may be somewhat healthy, but he did throw three touchdowns but threw three picks. Maybe that had something to do with it. The Ravens and Rams. The Rams took a 28-23 lead, a two-point conversion that was missed by the Rams. The Ravens will get a touchdown, and Zay Flowers will get the touchdown and the two-point conversion on the same drive, back-to-back plays. In fact, as Lamar Jackson goes 316 through three touchdowns in the, through the air, 70 yards. It went to overtime, but it was returned for a touchdown for the Ravens after back to back punts by the Ravens. And Rams would find what turned out to be the final play. Here's that final play. Coming back towards Matthew Stafford on that play. Ethan Evans, the punter, Ravens set to get good field position here. Tyron Wallace from the 25. 
Aaron Wallace breaks out of the tackle, takes it down the sideline. He stays in bounds. He stays on his feet. He takes it all the way and ends the game. There are no flags. Final was 31 to 27. Monday night games right now going on. What's left of the Titans? Watch out for Rasheed Morris and Derrick Henry. Rasheed Monster is fast, 14 touchdowns. Tyreek Hill is 1481. Watch out for him, Tristan, and Tyreek Hill. DeAndre Hopkins, Will Lovis for the Titans, and Tugan Tangavalo at the quarterback. Hill and Tua saying such a, something in common. They could be up for the MVP. Or should it? B. Kick is at 715. 13 and a half is a line. I'm taking the Dolphins 35 to 7. And I'm going to take the Packers 24 20. Right now, the Dolphins are ahead of the Titans 7 0. And the Packers and Giants are tied at zero. Players to watch out for the Giants-Packers game. Obviously, Jordan Love has been very good in his last couple starts. He played his best game as a Packer against the Chiefs. Giants have Tommy DeVito at the quarterback position. They don't. They are not very good. Watch out for linebackers Rashid Ray and linebacker Kayvon. Thetis Bodox players match up for the best matchup of the night. Game time, 7-15. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam's Fortune.